In 2010, I started taking online programming classes, um, and in about 2013, I took an online startup course. Uh, for, for that course, we got to use Bitcoin as a payment system. Uh, I had to register with a, an exchange, and I had to purchase some Bitcoins, uh, and then I got to just stare at them, wondering, what, what do I do next? <laughs> so this got me really interested in thinking about Bitcoin, its technology, and for uh, I had a winter vacation coming up, so I decided I was going to plan a whole study around learning about Bitcoin. Uh, but immediately I got, uh, I got really excited about other aspects of the technology. Um, for instance, uh, there, at the time we called them DACs, but now we call them DAOs. Uh, these are entities that allow us to organize uh, via code, so uh, programmable uh, organizations. And uh, so I started studying about that. I joined an online community, started discussing about these types of organizations, uh, how they could work. Uh, we also, at the time, talked a lot about what technology we would need to make these things work. At that time, uh, Vitalik Buterin put out his Ethereum white paper. Um, I got an early copy, so I sent Vitalik an email saying, wow, this is really exciting. I'd really like to help in any way I can. Uh, he put me into a Skype room with some other uh, Ethereum enthusiast. Uh, it was my winter vacation, so I said, please, uh, is there anything I can do to help? I have time, I can make a web page. Uh, at the time, Charles was there. Uh, Charles said, I need a secretary. You're going to be my secretary. <laughs> so, uh, I started doing uh, <clears throat> so I started doing administrative work for Charles, uh, and then a couple months later, I quit my job. I flew out to Switzerland and helped set up the Ethereum Foundation. Very simply, a DAO is an organization. Uh, you, can, you can think about all of human civilization as organizing and reorganizing, uh, moving, organizing, reorganizing. Uh, a DAO is a, a new type of organization that's going to allow us to program on a blockchain an organization. Uh, DAOs are very exciting because they're distributed. Uh, right now we have walled gardens on the internet. We have communities um, that you have to sign up for. You sign up with those communities with your email. You don't actually own your email, but it is your identification for the internet. So uh, the exciting thing about blockchain technology is that you will be able to get your own identification. You'll be able to control that identification. You'll be able to use that as your credential for interacting with other online people and organizations. Uh, the exciting thing about a DAO is it allows you to organize in a programmable way. Um, the, w the interactions between people and different uh, parts of an organization can all be programmed. Uh, the blockchain is immutable, so it can't be corrupted by bad processes. Um, and it's transparent. Transparency uh, is something that's really lacking in this day and age.